What's up, bro? What are we doing? We're at the San Gennaro Peace. What do you want to do? <laughs> That's right, sleepyheads. After a year-long hiatus, the San Gennaro Feast is back. This is opening day of the 95th annual San Gennaro Feast. The booths have been blessed, and San Gennaro is being paraded through the streets to bless New York City once again. and Broculo and the layman you 
his resolution to remain loyal to Christ. He was thrown headlong into a furnace, but by the grace of God, he came through unscratched and unscathed. Furious, the agents beheaded him. His body and the severed head, still dripping in blood, were gathered up by an old man who wrapped them reverently in a cloth. An old Neapolitan lady collected the blood with a sponge and filled a phial with the precious liquid. The body of Saint Gennaro is preserved in Naples, Italy, where he is honored as the city's principal patron. The Neapolitans pray to him for protection from fires, earthquakes, plagues, droughts, and the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. In every emergency, Saint Gennaro is their powerful champion and universal helper. His blood, which is normally solidified, liquefies twice a year on the first Sunday of May, which is the feast of the transfer of his relics, and on September 19th, which is the anniversary of his martyrdom. And that is why we celebrate the Feast of San Gennaro this year from September 16th to September 26th. And that is why we celebrate the feast in New York City's Little Italy. Because in the 1880s, that is where many Italians from Naples emigrated to and settled.